30 to nothing. The story for this offseason, the Texans have got to find a quarterback. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Now, with more on what was said inside that Texans locker room, CBS 19 was at NRG Stadium with the post-game report. Here is Jay Wallace from Houston. Back in October, it was the Kansas City Royals that ended a Cinderella season for the Houston Astros in the playoffs. And tonight at Energy Stadium, it was the Kansas City Chiefs that did the exact same thing for the Houston Texans and in commanding fashion. Just seconds into the game, the Chiefs led 7-0 after Niall Davis returned a kickoff 106 yards to the house. But the Texans had plenty of chances in the first half. I don't think it affected us, you know, at all um, because it was so early. There was so much football left to play, even coming into halftime. Um, we just didn't play well enough. But with Hoyer throwing pick after pick after pick <laughs> and even losing a fumble off his lineman's shoulder, the Texans just couldn't overcome his poor play. It was real tough. You know, anytime one of your guys you know, is at one point or whatever, uh, you know, it's real tough. And then just got to keep picking them up, keep picking them up. And then, you know, they'll carry over the next year. They had their game plan. We had our game plan. We just didn't, didn't execute, didn't prepare well enough. Even though a blowout shutout in the playoffs is always hard to swallow, there was still optimism for the future. We were two and five, and nobody gave us a shot. I mean, it's the most important I've seen in here. You feel me? So, I mean, clearly we did something great. We have a lot to look forward to. We definitely do it all season, and some guys getting back together and um, trying to see what we can do to get over that hump. Obviously, this is a very tough way for the Texans' season to end, but they still have a very young, improving wide receiver core led by DeAndre Hopkins, who had a game-high six catches for 69 yards. You can hear more about the 23-year-old standout tomorrow night at 10. Reporting at NRG Stadium, Jay Wallace, CBS 19.